to discover talent friends uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how to prepare a dashboard in ms excel which is an interactive dashboard right uh, with the help of slicer then uh, pure table and the whatever dump you have right and with the help of line chart or maybe whatever chart we are available in the ms excel so without further ado let's get started basic data dump i do have if you need for a practice purpose okay how to perform the task right or maybe create some basic dashboard you can comment on the youtube channel so with your email id so i can provide you right so dump i am just creating the pure table for from this particular dump and then uh, on new worksheet i'm just whatever field i would require i'm just pulling it down in respect to columns right filters rows and column value let me add those right and then checking it's again oops i don't want this uh, i'm just pulling the another one verification verified not verified okay then now right click show values percentage correct then it will show me the value in percentage form Just copy and paste so you know another data i wanted to analyze right i have analyzed the verified not verified now i want to another field to get analyzed so maybe add those particular you know value uh, in the table so whatever value you do have or whatever data you do have you want to analyze it you can do it right so this is just on a demo purpose guys okay again control v i want to add another third table here timeline wise correct so now i do have uh, this table is ready and uh, i'll ensure that you know i'll add the graphs respectively so whatever graphs i would require it correct so let me add total payment over here and then i'm done yeah cool so total fully paid current paid and then show the value is again the same thing which we did for the uh, first table correct now i'm just closing this pure table field now i'll select this particular table first and then click on the you can click on the recommended chart uh, or maybe you know directly click on the insert chart so whatever complete your choice how you want to analyze this particular data there are ample amount of uh, charts guys okay so you can choose as per your requirement or maybe your data requirement correct i'm just checking and uh, which is suitable for me to add on so i'm just adding this 3d one let me check 3d5 i have added what i will do guys uh, you know first i'll add the uh, charts in this particular uh, sheet and post that you know we will ensure that we are copying and pasting it in the another tab correct first i'll add the things and now the second table again insert just inserted one chart you can change it as per your requirement guys once again let me add a line you see it how it shows correct this one line and with markers i have added this with thing again i'm just inserting the uh, charts uh, over here in this particular sheet and post that we'll have one another separate sheet where we can have the you know entire graphs all together where we can call it as a dashboard right and complete upon you i'm turning on this trend line button right guys which will help me to showcase my trend line where it exactly goes turning on the data table button and then data labels i don't want grid lines so i'm just hiding it now again insert 
adding the another chart okay let me check tree map if it works uh, if not let me take the another one again insert recommended chart again i'll, I'll select the line itself but uh, prior you know, selecting the line i would uh, check preferably you know whatever data you know explicitly visualize that would be great for me right so i'm again checking the data which will help me to analyze my showcase my view better so i'm just checking that just right click change ch this thing format and then this will legends will be go on down so i can expand this particular table and i'm hiding the above lines hide all correct now i think we are almost done and i'm just showcasing you guys you know demo purpose again uh it's not on the genuine data i can say i've just uh, took it from the google itself but if you need this for a practice purpose you can again comment in the youtube channel right share with sharing your email id so i can help you with this file right i'll just control x the table uh, chart from here and i'll add the new worksheet and then i'll just paste it here and as per our requirement wherever we want to adjust it we will do it correct so i'll just adjust it okay as per our convenient I'm just adding this line now. In this uh, worksheet, guys, uh, if I'm uh, you know uh, showcasing you whatever demonstrating you guys, I would require only uh, this particular three label fields. I can say correct. So hence, uh, I'm only analyzing the specific data sets itself. Okay. If you want, you can analyze the other data sets as well, and you can add charts wherever whatever amount you re require correct so i'm just clicking no fill so uh, it will show me the transparency of uh, this particular sheet right and the background you can see there are worksheet i can see the grid lines i need to ensure that you know i'm hiding those as well you can go and view and you know directly turn off the button that's fine it's complete your choice i'm just hiding it and then grid lines turning off the grid lines buttons okay just adjusting it and then i'll drag this little bit ahead and bit a top correct and then uh, i'll check this na value right guys uh, at the end we'll show you how i can remove those na uh, if i don't want to see in this particular chart correct at the time of data cleansing we need to ensure that we are doing this data you know ensuring the data is actual and valid one right you can see over here as it's in a demo one so i kept na as is but i'll show you how we can remove that i'm just inserting one shape over here guys to make our dashboard more diligent and nice one right just adding one color black whatever color you want to choose just do it and if i select the black color guys you can see the transparency is not gone for this particular chart so i'm clicking again no uh, so here i'll select the color white okay so you can change the color if you need it i'm uh, this particular context is visible for me so i kept as is but only the change for the you know circle one by one right and then i'm good for over here and then just removing the outline for this and again the na value i'll show you uh, how to remove those correct now you can see the dashboard has been prepared guys but we need to ensure that we are making this interactive correct so what we will do we'll uh, go ahead and add this slicer or maybe buttons we can say right buttons will add on the bottom so accordingly we can see you know the dashboard will play let me add those 
if I click over here, you know, it will not give me the value exactly. So I need to click on any table and then click on the insert button, then slicer. Then I can see their slicer uh, option will popping up and accordingly as per our requirement we can add it uh, on the sheet right I'm just checking the fields uh, what type of fields we have pulled in so I'm just checking overhead heading verification status right and then for this it's in a home ownership so again I'm just click on the uh, any any table right and just go on the insert slicer installment so whatever tables you need to add it verification status and all these things you can add it and then insert it again control x from this side and then control v for the chart and dash or maybe dashboard view we can say I'm just clicking on the options button i can create the buttons in a horizontal form as per my requirement maybe whatever data sets i do have as per their requirement correct right verification status and then home ownership uh, again three so it will automatically get added horizontally you can see right slicer has been added we need to ensure that you know guys whenever we are adding the slicers those are the connected with the other charts too otherwise it will not get you know interactive let me show you how I'll have select click on the this particular channel now. Click on the other two verifications, report connections as well, right? Again, the same thing for this slicer as well. Okay. Now I can show you. Let me change the color for this. Uh, I think it's not suitable. Let me add this color. This one, yeah, perfect. Now I can see, you know, the chat, my, you know, dashboard has been interactive. I can see at one button click, my chart shows me the data for that particular time, you know, verification and all these things. And again, the uh, NA values which we have added, right, for the bottom chart, right, guys, uh, bottom chart one. So let me remove that. So it will show us the great amount of data right so this one na again um, going on to the raw dump wherever data is available for this particular sheet i'll just add the filter button on the top i'll ensure that you know select the only na values and i don't want this na so i'll remove this particular data sets i don't want it just delete row and then i'll go on the again dashboard view and just i'll just do the refresh you can see data has been gone okay now we only see the fields which we required right okay guys i hope you found this useful guys uh, so please subscribe my channel thank you